Hey there, this is Andrea with the ABS Agency, here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips, as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and personal branders. Welcome and thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited to have the one and only magnificent <laughs> Adria Murchison here. Hello. Let's start the Elite Podcast. <laughs> So, um, Adrian, thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm this so is excited. A joy and an honor. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Likewise. I'm so excited too. I love interviews and I especially love interviews with highly interesting people. Oh, so, thank you. So, I've been seeing your Let's Start Healing podcast on Instagram uh -huh. and otherwise. I think you're doing amazing work. I appreciate that. that. Thank you. Yes. It's a passion. Yeah, but so, like, tell us the the essence of the Let's Start Healing podcast, like what is it about, and you know, so the viewers can know, and and then also what made you want to start it? Well, it's a, it's a podcast that's rooted in spirituality, and um, I have always just uh, wanted to know God, I'm definitely a seeker, and um, I'm a journalist also. Oh, yeah, and so all of my background and experience has really led me to this point and to be able to produce this podcast in the way that I want to produce it. And so I uh, am talking to people about their spiritual path and their relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And it's people from all backgrounds, uh, all faiths. Uh, you don't have to be a Christian. If you are a Christian, wonderful, but you do not have to be. I love that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's it's just it just makes it a really beautiful thing, and there's also um, because it's about faith and spirituality, um, that doesn't mean that I don't bring in on occasion something that's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, I had a recent episode where I was talking to some men about the mini series when they see us, which is. Um, the story of the men formerly known as the Central Park Five because it touched me so much and I really wanted to talk about it and uh, so there's a little um, God, it's God and activism I uh, don't want to scare anyone with that because yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. very much uh, about you know who you are and what you're about and how you're driven you know through your the essence of you your spiritual nature and how you relate to God, who is God to you. So, and, and that turns out to be a really fruitful conversation. So. I love that. <laughs> I love that. It's so fun. Thank it's, you. It feels so deep hat could so super soul Sunday worthy. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, they are spiritual teachers. Oh, <laughs> they yeah. are, so I definitely uh, get a lot out of them. Yeah. Very cool. And how long have you been doing your podcast now? Uh, it's been uh, going on three months, uh, uh, actually going on four months, going on four months. I started it in April. Congrats. So thank you. I'm on, um, well, I won't say because I don't know if it's going to air, but <laughs> I've done quite a few episodes. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Thank you. Well, this will be up like next week, if not you. tomorrow. So. And, it, and it comes out every week. It's a weekly podcast. So awesome, Adrian. So, and now, so tell us about yourself. Like, where are you from, and how would you grow up, and how would you get here to Atlanta? Uh, well, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Awesome. And, <laughs> I've, been there, I've been there at least once. Have you really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better than the reaction I normally get. So, Do they, which, are people like? Oh, they have that? to comment on the cold. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm from Buffalo, and uh, I came to Atlanta actually for college. And I stayed here for a number of years, and then I moved to New York City, and I lived there for 10 years, and then uh, I came back here. What was family that like? I love New York. I mean, I feel very natural you have a New York vibe, yeah. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Um, but I came back here for family reasons, and uh, this is home now, but I also love the West Coast, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but this is home. I'm pretty rooted here, mainly because of friends, you know, that have become like family that, that keep me here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Callie, Callie just had that shooting last, last night. Last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Santa Clara or something like that. Yeah, it's near San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, that's a festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, random 
and yeast. It's a, <laughs> not that it's not insignificant, it just yeah. happens so much. Um, so that's awesome. So you're, you're a bit of a New York girl with some Cali flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you got Atlanta. And where did you go to school in Atlanta? I went to Clark. It's now yeah. Clark Atlanta University. But yeah. I went there. And actually my background uh, is was actually in uh, the investment industry. Okay. I was there, I was in that industry for a number of years uh, in New York. And oh, wow. Yeah, and what, so while I was there, I wrote a book, and I wanted to write a book on relationships between black men and women. Mm -hmm. And I interviewed about more than 50 people yeah. about their relationships and their expectations, and then I weaved in my story, and, uh, I, I self-published it. I sold it on the streets of New York. Because what year was that? That was before the ebook days at Amazon, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Assume... yeah, yeah. It was in the 90s. So that was, <laughs> I was about to say, you know, just the tactics yes. would change between now and yes. then. Yes, yes. So you were, you were straight on the street. I, like, was, a, I was a hustler, yeah. for real. That's yeah. awesome yeah. that you did the interviews. <laughs> like, that's so yeah. fun that you did that. I did, I did. And I learned a lot because... I really wanted to see at that time, there was just a lot of conflict between black men and women. Mm. And I wanted to see what that was about. Yes. And I definitely had a perspective and my perspective changed as I interviewed men. Uh, and, and then I was enlightened as I interviewed women. It was so interesting because to self publish it, I worked at, I was working two jobs. Oh, wow. I was working at Bear Stearns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was working at Bear Stearns, formerly now defunct Bear Stearns, mm -hmm. during the day, and then I worked at Morton Steakhouse of uh, Chicago at night. And uh, in order to help me publish it, I had a fundraiser, and so a lot of coworkers and colleagues at both places helped me, Aww. you know, in terms of publishing this book. So awesome. And yeah. Before yes. the days of crowdfunding, before mm -hmm. the days of uh, <laughs> Facebook groups and all that. Yes, yes. And it's so true about, you know, if you follow your passion, you know, I think there's a saying like the universe conspires to help you. Mm. And um, my, my best friend, she was working at the time for Procter & Gamble. And she was in town for a small conference and they were going out to dinner. And she said, um, you know, come to dinner and, you know, bring your presentation, you know, about your book. And so I was like, okay, but I really didn't think that was, was a good idea. I ended up getting donations, you know, and just out of the blue, I would get a check in the mail. Wow. You know, so uh, it Best was kind really, of mail ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, you know, just incredible how, you know, everything came together. And that really helped me get uh, work in uh, the media because I, I don't have a degree in journalism. Okay. And uh, so that had me, helped me to have some credibility. Mm. And so it's just been, you know, a winding road that has you know, brought me here. <laughs> just like really pursuing your passion yes, the whole way. absolutely. I love that. <laughs> well, we're all about that here. And we certainly believe companies people, whether you're solopreneurs or companies or otherwise, that you are following that passion that is evident in your unique value proposition, um, what you choose to bring to the table, how you choose to serve others, mm -hmm. um, your business and, and otherwise in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so business is real life too. So um, super love that. So you got the book uh, and then you got the, the finance industry experience and then also um, now in the podcast world, which is so super fun, and you just clearly love interviewing people, so that journalism string kind of stuck with yes, you. Yes, I do, I do. I love getting to know people, like who they are, mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, we so much see our representative, <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's not always authentic, and so I love getting to know who a person is. And so, since my passion is God, uh, and spirituality, you know, want to get to know that side. And my last question for you is around business. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with people and interviewing people, particularly the entrepreneurs, um, or maybe the career professionals or otherwise, right? Um, how do you find people are linking their spirituality with their professional world? Um, do you 
see any correlation there with success or otherwise or tell me what you think about that so far I do I do I um, in, in fact I have some friends who are trainers and consultants in corporate America and um, they tell me that they're doing trainings on mindfulness on um, how to how to connect with someone in an authentic way so that's about spirituality you know to me and I, I think that we're at a point you know it's such a fast moving climate you know we have a 24 it's like a 48 hour new set new cycle you know it's constant it doesn't stop and I think that you know a lot of people want to be grounded and you know want to be connected with some authenticity and so I think that you know that's kind of resonating yeah. and and also I think that managers and business owners want to get the most out of their staff and so that they're recognizing that you know spirituality is in connecting I'm using the word spirituality but it's connecting is mm -hmm. is essential you know to get the you know the most productivity that that you desire and when you say connecting do you mean and this is this could be taken so many ways in the spiritual world but do you mean like connecting is in like downloading from a higher source or connecting is in connecting with each other because there's a source within all of us and that connects or what do you feel about that well i'm when i just mentioned it i meant connecting with each other gotcha however i do think say for myself uh, if I'm going to really connect with you, I have to be connected to who I am. Mm. And the way that I connect with who I am is through my higher power, my higher self, God. But, you know, somebody else might connect in a different way. They might connect through nature, you know. Mm. They might, you know, they, you can connect in all different ways. Like their higher, their higher power could be nature, yeah. you know. So it's, um, uh, it's all different all different avenues that makes sense so I, I totally agree with that I mean for me it's all all of that's connected anyway yes I really feel um, you know nature is a part of that same source and so is that spirit that is within all of us uh -huh. has a connection as well um, I'm reading this book right now with a small small group of people uh, just gathered people who wanted to read with me because uh -huh. I just spurred them and picked this book what is it uh, it's called the miracle morning for entrepreneurs Ooh. and I know yeah. <laughs> oh, you would love it <laughs> you, you could join us um, it, it, is, it is so like that you know because the morning itself is simple uh, it's by a guy named Hal Elrod which you would love his story uh -huh. and he like I was telling Alicia about this um, who was our last interview be sure to check out that interview as well um, she was on the last interview, and I was telling her how he like died several times. And she was like, several times, yeah, he did. Like, how people can get clinically dead because he got in a drunk car accident. Um, not he wasn't drunk, but he was hit by a drunk driver at like uh -huh. seventy miles an hour. Stuff, everything was crushed. He, people were like, he's not going to walk again. He did. Um, he got cancer and was told he had thirty percent chance to live. He did. You know, it's all, he credits so much of it with his mindset and how he said, there's no other option. I will beat this. There's no other option. Um, and he created this miracle morning and he also had like such wonderful groundbreaking. Um, he's a salesman by trade uh -huh. and he had these wonderful record breaking moments with the company he was in, even as a young guy. Uh, so he talks about the mindset needed to do that kind of really truly miraculous work, you know, to do stuff that's never been done, mm -hmm. and where do you call upon, you know, from within yourself, that kind of power yeah. to create those kinds of miracles, so to speak. Um, so it's such a fascinating book, and the SAVERS acronym, you'll love this, I'm just going to quickly, like, share what that little acronym is, because it's how they want you to conduct your morning, whether you have six minutes to do it, um, so that's one for each letter, S-A-V-E-R-S. -E whether you have six uh -huh. minutes to do or 60 minutes to do it, mm -hmm. um, if you even take as little as six minutes in the morning to do this, it truly does set your day in mm -hmm. order. So it stands for stillness, affirmations, the V is vision. So mm -hmm. your vision for the day, how you envision your day going, mm -hmm. but also your longer term vision, how does that connect with your longer term vision for yourself, business, whatever, mm -hmm. um, exercise, reading, and scribing. 
Um, it's I so love great. it. I know, and it sounds like so much in the morning. Who does all this in the morning? But I have now done that at, at least five mornings now, yeah. um, hmm. and they're not all the same mornings, you know, because some mornings you've just been running, and yes. other mornings you kind of have all the time in the world. Of yes, um, it's so fantastic. I, just I definitely that. want to read that book. Yeah. Oh, join our reading Definitely. group. Okay. So if you're out there and you want to join us, um, the reading group is, if you search A-Listers Reading Group on Facebook, you'll find it. Uh -huh. um, you can also go to bit.ly slash A-Listers Reading Group. So I'll share that with you here. Um, any closing comments for us, Adrienne, as you're leaving us? Thanks so much for being here oh, today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so what I say um, at in the beginning of every podcast and this sums up how I feel. You know, I am an I I'm an idealist who's also realistic, uh -huh. but I am an idealist at heart. And so I say we have more in common than we think, and what we have in common can change the world. And that oh, is my that. thank you. That's my uh, inspiration. You know, for doing this, and uh, I want to let you all know uh, that. You know where you can find the podcast once again and it's let's start healing podcast mm -hmm. um you can email me at let's start healing podcast at gmail.com uh the podcast as we mentioned earlier it's on spotify and apple Podcasts. there's a youtube channel um what am i forgetting that is instagram, instagram. <laughs> thank you let's start healing podcast on instagram and my personal instagram